Yeah, so we have listeners all over the globe. Specifically, we did some number crunching and we see them over in Russia and Germany, Spain, even Tanzania. And we know the business problems in that side of the world is totally different. And so we'd love to get your perspective, your insights, and give us the opportunity to listen and learn from you. So send us your responses to Howie and Beast Mode, A-N-D, at gmail.com. Welcome to the Howie and Beast Mode podcast, where we discuss all things business, including growth, strategy, and execution, as well as personal and professional development. Let's join Howie and Beast Mode in conversation. so much encouragement is going on, and I know that we've just spent 30 minutes just encouraging each other, just getting ramped up for tonight, so... I'm ready. Yeah, it's a really, gosh, it's a good topic, you know, for sure. I think, I think a lot of people can relate to that, whether you're a job seeker. So, hi, Jim. By the way, uh, Taylor's dad's name is Jim. So, hi, Jim. Um, if you're listening, um, See you. looking, looking for a job. Yep. Praying for you, by the way. Um, but whether it's Jim looking for a job or when I was looking for a job for eight and a half months in a pandemic or you're hunting for new business in a pandemic. So, yeah. like you get, you get some kind of award for that. Uh, or starting and, and by the way because you weren't busy enough you also started a nonprofit in a pandemic because why not um you know all that good stuff yeah uh, clean up yep clean up's the name of it guys go check him out clean up us clean up usa.org but yeah i mean i think we, we both did encourage each other a lot tonight in the prep and that's one of our little secret benefits to doing this yeah yeah so tonight we're continuing the discussion on open doors but we're just really going to talk and really just elaborate on when open doors can be, when they look uncomfortable, when they feel uncomfortable, whenever, you know, you just have that moment of a little bit of pushback. Sometimes you initially swat it away. No, that's not an open door. That's what we want to talk about tonight. Wow. You know, I was listening to um, an audio book right now. Uh, it's called Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. And one of the chapters, it's kind of complex. I'm not sure I'd recommend it for everybody unless you can find a summary of it. It's just too crunchy. It's taken me a year and a half to, to listen to it because I keep stopping for months at a time. It's just a little bit too crunchy for me. Um, but, you know, I do get nuggets in there and I'm determined to finish that sucker. Uh, but it's all about psychology and behavioral economics and stuff like that. One of the things that Daniel Kahneman said in uh, when I was doing some painting and listened to that yesterday was that people will more avoid pain than they will find an opportunity, right? And that's why this topic is really good today is because you may look at an opportunity and see some pain in that. And therefore your natural God-given <clears throat> uh, design of your psycholo psychological factors may assess that as pain or as negative or risky or whatever. And you're so fight or flight oriented to avoid pain, you may literally look past that opportunity. And so we're just gonna try to call your attention to a couple of uh, thoughts around that tonight. Yeah, yeah, so good. And the first the first bullet point that we're gonna to touch, and these are in no order by any means of relevance or importance or anything like that, but we judge open doors by our initial negative analysis. And it, I mean, that negative analysis can be from um, maybe the amount of initial startup that it would take, but whether it's startup resource, whether it's startup capital, startup time, and it's just, I don't have that. Well, you know, um, it's a quick way to kind of swat away an opportunity. It could be a negative analysis of, I don't have the right people behind me to, to start this. And so I need to go find people be, whenever the opportunity is now. It's not for whenever you go find people. It's for you to get going now. Just two examples. So good. Um, you know, if I would have, I think what, what's interesting is that I have found a lot of people who've had some success in business or in starting nonprofits where, you know, you wouldn't look at them and say, oh, they've spent a lifetime preparing for this. You know, <laughs> you might say they're a very admirable person or they're smart, but you wouldn't say, oh, that person is like born for this. Their parents did this. They went to college for this or whatever. But they dove in and something made them get past that initial, you know, all those initial trees in the forest uh, or all those barriers or whatever they went through uh, to just start hacking away at it. And yeah. then I've watched multiple instances of people that were successful um, just by starting, 
And so, you know, you might see a forest in front of you, but it's like, if you don't step into that forest and start hacking away, you won't really find uh, whether or not the opportunity is valid. So I think we do, I agree, we do judge open doors by initial negative analysis. And we don't bet on ourselves. Mm. Yeah, if there's anybody who's unqualified, it's me to do what, whatever I'm doing right now. And I'm very cognizant and aware of that. Um, but at the same time, it, it's here. And no, I don't see anybody else raising their hand to do it. So yeah. it's, it's, we're going and I'll get qualified on the job. How about that? You know, that's great. That's so, great. Uh, what are some other types of um, initial and, you know, negative analysis conditions we can maybe help the guys and gals think of, um, you know, inexperience we talked about, right? So they yeah. may judge it by that or, uh, or maybe cost. You know, people might say that costs too much to start. Yeah. You know, for example. Yeah, time. It could be even time. just comfort comfortability. I'm comfortable where I'm at, um, yeah. and where this opportunity at is seems left less comfortable. Um, it seems like it would take me out of my comfort zone, which also goes into confidence. Um, but I think that's good. Yeah, the title is "Open Doors Can Be Found in the Uncomfortable." And so yeah. that's great. That, that's great. I mean, we literally um, we're thinking about that in the title itself. I mean, I think you've been through things that you assessed. You weren't sure they were opportunities, you know, and maybe you tried anyway. You know, yeah. And, and me too. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. You know, and I, I think a couple of ways, just a couple of tips about that, you know, with people obviously walking into the forest instead of just staring at the whole forest start with like going between that tree and that tree, you know, just those yeah. first few steps to assess it better. And you find out why well, I walked in the forest and didn't kill me. I'm still walking and you know, there's no lions and tigers and bears. Um, yeah. Or in your case, you found out that, you know, yeah, I don't have any budget. Yeah. It's a pandemic, but gosh, there's a lot I can do with sweat as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, so people kind of think about that sometimes too. Yeah. I get the, the quick thought that was coming to me is, whenever you're going say to build on a new location that you've never been to and, and things like that, you know, a lot of times you'll pay for samples of the dirt. And so you don't just roll in there with a bulldozer and start digging. No, I'll, I'll take some core samples at some key points. We'll look at it. Okay. This, this came back positive. So now we can move forward, but the, taking the core samples is, is taking a step forward. That is walking mm. into that door. Um, and so Good. that's just one of those things well it's funny i was just watching gold rush uh, as i was having my <laughs> tuesday night wings and they were literally doing core samples yes yes so it's like you and, god, you and god are like on the same wavelength <laughs> for sure right now uh that's great yes. yeah no perfect example it's absolutely i mean they're not you know they're are they mining for gold yet yeah they are i mean they're doing part of the process and part of the process is getting started cheap and assessing so yeah, that's great. Um, okay, well, you know, we can come back to that if we want. I think the next point that you and I thought about as far as open doors can be found in the uncomfortable, um, you know, sometimes we assess those open doors that look and feel uncomfortable um, because we're judging by comparison. So yeah. what do we mean by those uncomfortable doors can be uncomfortable because we're comparing? Like, what does that mean? Yeah, so I'm comparing it to the last open door I walked through. So the last open door looked like, felt like, uh, acted like this. And so this one doesn't. And so I'm going to swat it away because it didn't look the way. But there's a maturity level. That last one, it took a lot more for you to step in. And so now you're more mature. So it, it should take less for you to recognize, for you to be willing to step out. Um, sometimes it's comparison between others, you know, Howie, your open door looked like this. So my open door should look like that. You know, similar capacity, similar settings. And it, that's not it at all. You know, your, your calling, your motivation, your directives, what direction, again, from a faith perspective, God wants to take you is different than mine. And so there should be no comparison at all between you and anybody else. Whatever your open door looks like is for you. Even if it's the exact cookie cutter model to somebody else's, that the pathway that once you walk through that door, where it's going to take you, it's going to take you someplace. It's never going to take me. Mm, great. Yeah. Comparison, you know, is a thief of joy. No question about it. 
you know, uh, when you talk about comparing against other people and their opportunity, um, you know, I feel like you can easily judge them, which is a distraction and it's unfortunate and it's sad really, uh, or you could judge yourself and that's also unfortunate and sad. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't, you know, I, you know, be thinking about as you're assessing your life and assessing opportunity and you're looking for opportunities. Um, if we judge by comparing with others, that doesn't do any, literally, I can't think of any good that that would do. The next one that we talked about, and you guys will think about more on the podcast uh, in your own life of, of, of open. Hold doors. on, hold on. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So another thing is comparison. I saw Howie walk through a door like this and the amount of effort and mm. energy and commitment it took from him. I don't have that. Mm. And so I'm self-assessing before okay. did, do you see what I'm saying? I do. So it's not just comparison in the envy way. It's also comparison in a self-doubt way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I can't do that. I saw Howie walk through a door like that. And it, I mean, it took everything he had. I don't, and I'm no Howie. I mean, I'm just beast mode. I'm not a Howie. You know, and so then we, oh, I can't do that. And it's, it's that comparison. It's just a thief. Wow. That's it's such terrible. a thief. That's terrible. Wow. Well, if anybody ever felt that way, about my life, I'd love to encourage them and lift them up. That's for sure. Um, so comparison versus something from the past. So we talked about, you know, um, oh, I have, yes. a, I have mm. a certain situation where I went through in a very, a very difficult mm. work relationship one time. Um, that work relationship was basically a very toxic one. And then it ended up where I didn't have a job and tough, tough situation. Uh, I have actively forgiven, um, and there's there's a whole kind of a neat story about that, to be honest. Um, but it's funny because I do compare things about that situation as I look forward. I kind of I have a hard time not a little bit thinking about that past and comparing whatever I'm looking at with the past a little bit, you know. Mm. And so and some of the some and I, you know, you and I talked about one of them that's really silly. Um, but there's, there's other ones that are not silly. Yeah. And, um, so it's one thing to forgive, which is we should all work on that. But it's also don't let that become a baggage or a, or a weight around your ankle for judging that future opportunity. Uh, because maybe part of tackling something that might smell like that in the past, maybe that's part of the opportunity for you is not only the literal opportunity, but the opportunity to go through that something that feels a little bit similar and face it and conquer it and you didn't die and you got a little bit healthier because of it. I told you a funny one uh, in our gateway group a couple of weeks ago where I had this weird fear of working out and I do it, um, yes. but I lift weights and it hurts a lot. And I'm also afraid of not hitting the, the same level that I hit the week before, right? And so I've developed this weird thing where I'm afraid of the pain because it hurts a lot and I'm afraid of... Um, of the not, not not treadmill but like the weight heavier weightlifting uh, and then i'm afraid of not hitting and failing of uh, you know it's funny that and i'll just encourage everybody on the on the podcast that when i share that with beast mode and the gateway group let's just say it was like a month ago or something that fear has actually faded for me and uh, by, because i gave it some air and some sunlight you know sunlight cleans everything uh, sunlight is a natural um sterilizer and it actually has led to me having less of that and i know it's such an it's kind of an embarrassing weird fear to be honest um but it has helped me so i think you know when we look at that you know the past whatever that past is and we've got that fear because something happened um if we face that and and don't judge the future opportunity based on that past then we can too get freedom and i do recommend actually giving some sunlight and sharing with someone else your opportunities and why you're worried about it because maybe you'll get some sunlight and some relief like like how we did yeah so good and our last point so circle back real quick we um we judge open doors by initial negative analysis we judge uh, it by comparison and finally we judge it by our lack and just a, one that i came up with is we judge it by our lack of, of understanding you know and it's not an understanding of the opportunity itself is we judge it by our our, our lack of understanding of what all it might take. And so I see it's an opportunity. I recognize it. You know, we've gone through the first couple of steps that we've talked about in open doors. 
but I just don't understand maybe what's going to go down the road, or I don't understand why you would ask me to do this, why this opportunity would be here for me. I'm, I feel like I'm going this way, and this opportunity feels like it's this way. And so that lack of understanding, we will swat, swat it away for the same, same perspective. Wow, that's good. Totally agree with that. Yeah, and those, those two sub-bullet points, we judge it by our lack of understanding and by our lack of confidence in ourselves are just cousins for sure. Mm. Um, you know, and I, I feel like everybody does, you know, they call it on LinkedIn. A lot of times they call it imposter syndrome. Um, it's not a bad word for it. I don't care. I mean, it's not a bad word. But I think we, we all do have that lack of understanding sometimes. But if I started this job right now, even though, um, you know, I have industry experience, you know, there would be new things and there are, there have been, I, you know, I've, I'm actually learning a Mac, Google uh, suite, Slack and a product line and management and reporting structure and every, and, 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 and it's in a team, like a lot of things at the same time, it's, it's, you know, it's very wonderful and it's incredible culture actually, but it's a stretch. So if I, if I didn't walk through the opportunity because I'd, had a lack of understanding or, or even because I would fall prey to a lack of confidence, then I wouldn't be able to walk forward and contribute and have success. Yeah. I have to do a little bit of that fake it till you make it. And, and the thing is, I don't think it really is fake. I think it's just learning until you make it. Yeah. And I know that we've talked about it before too, but you know, I don't, I don't really want every task that I, that I take that I endeavor to do. I don't want it to be, you know, elementary, you know, where's the, where's the growth in that? Where's the stretch in that? Where's the going to the next level? If I'm doing kindergarten math all the time, then, you know, in the, in terms of my business opportunities, in terms of my stretch goals, if all my stretch goals are kindergarten math. Are you kidding me? You know, there's no growth. So it's good, you know, but you can't have it both ways. <laughs> you know you can't and you know yeah. part of it is is you know we it's and by the way I, I told you guys this maybe 10 months ago i don't know a long time ago there's a seth godin where he visited behind behind the brand and i know he visits behind the brand a lot i think he's been on there at least three times um but the one maybe it's a year ago or something he was talking about actually choosing things that do scare you or that are hard and like, that's a sign I'm doing it. Yeah. Like literally picking the ugliest open door, um, <laughs> you know, and that's, it, it's, it's actually very inspiring to be honest, that particular statement of taking the hard or the ugly thing and then choosing that on purpose yeah. because it's ugly. Yeah. Oh, I got another, I just had another good example for the business. We group. have time. <laughs> oh, for the business. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's too okay. faithy. But. Okay. Okay. Well, um, good stuff. I mean, I, you know, I know it's a little bit on the short side. Yeah. It was I, mean, I think the title itself is, is, is so yeah. spiritual and so not even just like faith, but, but it's just such a deep yeah. title, like open doors can be found in the uncomfortable. Yeah. It was a little fire hosey, uh, you know, with so, the amount of content and the amount of time, but that's okay. You can rewind it. Go ahead and pause rewind right it. now. Rewind, rewind it. it, you know, start it over. Listen to it again, maybe from a different device. Get us a, a unique listen. <laughs> <But>. Exactly. <laughs> we'll, take it. we'll take it. No, we'll yeah. It. We're trying to grow a little bit. Um, well, what else do you want to cover? I think that's it. Yeah, there, there's so much here that we delivered. And, that's you know, nice. this may, I feel like this kind of wraps up the open door just in my mind. Fine. Um, but you never know. Tune in next week and we'll see. So. We just kind of share, I mean, just to let you guys know, we really tend to share kind of what we're dealing with. Um, yeah. Tonight, we didn't even have a plan. We just showed up to talk and share and support. And then it kind of flowed. We have, by the way, we do pray. And I recommend that you pray for your business meetings and for your business, let alone family and personal. Um, but we do that. And then, um, yeah, we just started thinking about what are we going through? And Beast Mode was assessing some business or or um, nonprofit type situations. And it's like some of those situations don't look just super no. duper straightforward. They don't. No, no, they don't. They don't look straightforward. They don't, I don't look like I have the ability, the capability, the knowledge that any of it, you know, but you know, 
It looks like something. So let's go figure out what it is. What if, what if these guys, and I know we're done here, but I'll say this. And if it causes you to say something, then by all means, but what if, you know, it's not just about you, you know, what if that open door isn't just about you yeah. and you facing something that's uncomfortable yeah. is it, and it's not even just about feeding your kids either. Right. Yeah. Oh what yeah. It's about the people that are on the, on the other side of that door, just as much as it is for you and your family. And so yeah. you owe it to all of us and you owe it to the people on the other side of that door to have the courage and to take a deep breath and to walk through that door, even though it's ugly and even though it's uncomfortable and there is gold in that darkness. Yeah. You, you've got to walk through that door. You've got to make yourself walk through that door. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Whenever I uh, talk about purpose, uh, that's one of the things. When you walk out your purpose, one of the benefactors is, is people are blessed by it. It can't help, you can't help it. You will never ever walk out your purpose and it not bless other people. Other people not benefit from it. And so, but your purpose is never easy. It's always difficult, it's always uphill. You can't have uphill goals and downhill habits. You can't have an uphill purpose and a downhill work ethic, you know? Good. Love but, Good. But, let's put a bow on this. And if we Where need can to, we find us everywhere. We're all over social media. Uh, we're going to be jumping on some TikToks and all kinds of stuff, uh, mainly again on uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, obviously if you're watching online you can tune into YouTube um, uh, iTunes everything Spotify everything like that so many places just google it it's there we don't want any, we don't want your money um, if you feel generous feel free to like it uh, so yes. subscribing it actually could be nice to help you get notifications there's a notification yeah. bell I think you have to click as well um, but we love doing this and um, god bless you guys uh, what if they want to email us a question or an insight or they want to join the show what yeah. should, how, what should they email email howie h-o-w-i-e and beast mode at gmail.com cool. so have a great uh rest of your week everyone